Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Series 1, and Simeon is building out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Series 2, Series 3, and Battle of the Millennium. On my team, I have Kuribo, 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 yeah. Kuribo I don't know, Red Eyes, triple, man. yeah, the little dude, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Ooh. the, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, his his distant cousin, not far removed, I don't think. Uh, next to him, we have Joey Wheelers, my personal favorite, the Flame Swordsman. Big fan of the Flame Swordsman. Probably one of the few Yu Gi Oh cards I still own today from when I used to play. Uh, next up, we have the Castle of Illusions. Ooh, look at it. It's all gold. It's so cool. <laughs> Next to him, we have the Gate Guardian, a 300 point boost. The Gate wow. Guardian, yeah, I know, right? It's pretty wild. Uh, just so everybody knows, we're playing a 1400 point game, yeah. So, 1400 points, we're gonna do 10 actions each. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have another Blue Eyes White Dragon. What, <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, there's two. I two do. At the I hear same it. Turn. You can though. Didn't he spawn like three? Well, not yeah. in the same turn. Like he had like three there. So yeah, at the beginning um, of the match or whatever. Yeah, exactly. What a scumbag, said Okaiba. Uh, we already went over the Kuribo. So then we got my mystical elf lady. She's real nice. She's pleasant. It's actually one of my favorite um, figures. Because I, it. she's actually pretty good. She's actually pretty yeah. pretty darn good. Um, actually, let's let's go back. I realized I forgot. Dark magician. Uh, feel a little rude. Skip dark magician. Yeah, he's a he's a major player. Cool skull. He's played a lot. And then, oh yeah, it is. And then who can forget La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. You know, oh, he's yeah. such a fan. What a fan favorite, La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Uh, so yeah, those are my figures. Here. Oh, Time Wizard. I, I can't Yay. believe we didn't say Time Wizard. Oh, time not, Wizard! Not Clock King, you say. Okay. No, not Clock. He's an actually good figure. He's Time Wizard. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, big fan of Time Wizard. I got three Joey Wheeler figures on my team, three Seto Kaiba figures on my team, and three Yugi Moto figures on my team. And we got some other people, I guess, like Paradox Brothers and some other garbage. But no Bandit Keith votes. I am disappointed in all of you for not voting for any Bandit Keith figures on the team. Very let down. Yeah, we got some spells and traps. We're not going to totally go into those. We're just going to, oh. if, if they if they pop up, they pop up type of deal. Skull dice. Yeah, some dice. There's some yeah. dice manipulation going on. Not really. I think it's just prob. We're playing on the, the forest, the duelist forest outdoor map. Yeah. It's yes. pretty boring in roll 20, but uh, I'm sure it looks better outside. Uh, yeah. So, like, really good. Over on team triple set, triple threat, uh, Yugi 2, 3, and Battle of the Millennium. First up is Forest Man. Uh, real good card. I think his actual he's Forest Hunter. Okay, my bad. Forest Hunter is his name. Um, this one is Tiny Child with bread. Um, oh, little Red Robin Hood. Look at those eyes. Uh, yes, little so little nice. Red Riding Hood. A Leon Riding Wilson Hood. character. Whoever that ah. is, why he yeah. would have that card in his deck, I do not know. Uh, a character that actually is interesting, though. Uh, the what is it? Magician of Black Chaos. Such a long name for such a somewhat powerful guy. 180 points, this man. Uh, he is a Yugi Muto character as well. Um, then I have my own version of Karibo, although it's different. Mm. Colors. Mine is an LE. Same sculpt, but it's an LE, which I think Battle of the Millennium was all like LE versions of characters that had already been made. So uh, then I have Black Skull Dragon, which is the, mm. the hybridization of this like skull whatever guy and the red eyes black dragon. Red eyes black dragon. Yeah. Okay. So that's a that's a Joey Wheeler one. Uh, Joey Wheeler. Jinzo. Mm. The Le Jinzo, 
Also a Joey Wheeler character. Yes. Uh, I'll skip this guy. No, I won't. It's Exodia. And since he is on the map, I automatically win. Who's Exodia? Kind of true, though. Uh, That's a Yugi Muto one. Yeah. I probably should have known that one, huh? Uh, Probably. Next next up is the Cyber Jar, who's just a jar. Ooh, Cyber Jar. Uh, Bandit Keith. And the Big Five and Yugi Muto all have this one, apparently. Mm. Very cool character. Bandit Keith for you. Uh, then I've got the uh, Camion Wizard. Although it's like all one word rather than two. Smushed. So, yeah. Um, this is an, an, another Big Five. The Big Five. I have, hey, <laughs> Harpy Lady. Uh, it's just a Harpy Lady. So... She belongs to my Valentine. Huh. Oh, yeah, she's pretty hot. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Then I have the Red Eyes Black Dragon, mm. who is another character. Well, a little different from my Red Eyes Black Dragon, but yes, I see, I see. Yeah, the dials are different. Um, this is a Joey Wheeler one. At least that's what mine says, so I'm assuming you're... Oh, yeah, they're both Joey Wheeler. Yeah, they're yeah. both Joey Wheeler. And then... Capping the team off is the Dark Magician Girl. Mm. So, uh, so pretty hot. I also have. <laughs> I also have one. Say that actually. I paid for the Torrential Tribute and Mirror Magic traps, so uh, it'll be a power action to activate those from any character that chooses oh, okay. to do so. Um, but yeah, that is that is my team. Not a ton of stuff going on. But at the same time, like way too much stuff going on. So right. Well, we got ten actions. We have fourteen hundred points. We have tons of tons of points of characters on the board. Uh, I imagine realistically, this should be like nine hundred point game, maybe with good point values, maybe even less. Probably honestly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Simeon won map, so he gets to go first. All right. We didn't go over all the characters because it would have just it probably would have no, been like a solid hour of just that had yeah we it would have taken a long time. The characters. So, um, so beginning of the turn, Exodia begins the game with five broken bond tokens. Oh uh, uh, yeah, he has the tokens on his card. He can't be targeted, moved, placed, attacked, or damaged. And then during the beginning of my turn, I roll a d6, and on a result of two to four, I remove one token. On a five six, I remove two. So I will roll my my one d six and see if I remove any. I remove two. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. And I'm not a hundred percent sure on how this is supposed to be played, but his card says that he's not. Uh, he cannot be moved. So I'm gonna play it as if I can't move him as well as Calder, because that's basically what the card says. It doesn't specify. So. I think that's the fairest way to do it um, with his 12 range, which is, yes. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, so let's go with, oh, man, too much stuff. to. So my Red Eyes Black Dragon has sidestep with seven speed, so I'm going to start with him. He's going to move out. Seven squares, and then sidestep to there. Uh, let's see, seven squares to here. Um, he'll carry this dark magician girl with him, and then sidestep, and drop her here. Why not? That is one action. Uh, my harpy lady and camion wizard. Camion Wizard. Harpy Lady can use sidestep, charge, flurry, and sidestep with nine speed. So she's going to carry the Camion Wizard somewhere. Uh, let's see. Nine speed. Let's just go right there. Just <laughs> because there's one square of blocking. Um, 
the cyber jar who has five speed with phasing probably should have carried him with somebody um he's a standard size he'll just phase one two three four five uh let's double check here where can i get yeah we'll go there we'll go there and he will use his perplex on the harpy ladies defense Mm. Then I've got my Jinzo and my B Skull Dragon, uh, who has a running shot right now, not sidestep. So I can go eight squares with him. Jinzo can phase eight squares. So Jinzo's going to carry Karibo eight squares. He'll go here. And drop my Karibo there. And then B Skull will go. Uh, let's go. We'll just make a line right here. This is how you play Yu Gi Oh, right? You do weird <laughs> formations on a battlefield. Um, he'll carry the Magician of Black Chaos along with him. And Scary Child. It's what I decided to name Little Red Riding Hood. She will perplex up Forest Man's speed. Yeah, so he's got nine speed with leap climb. He'll leap and climb to here. Carrying the scary child, who I assume is tiny, but I didn't check. Yeah, she is tiny. He'll carry her to here. And that will effectively end my turn. Everyone's either been carried or moved that can move. Um, I have my perplexes. I have two perplexes. I have several outwits that do not help me because it's turn one. And that is pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. All right. Lots to do, lots to do. So Time Wizard has this thing. It says it's the beginning of your turn. You may roll 2d6. They can't be re-rolled. If the result is 7 or higher, all opposing characters modify their defense negative 2. If it is 6 or lower, all friendly characters modify their defense negative 2. This lasts until your next turn. Now, at the beginning of the turn, it always comes to the point of time is, do I want to roll that? who I want to potentially have negative two defense for the rest of my turn. And so I have to look, how many attacks can I possibly make this turn that would warrant the chance to wear, man, if I really, if I hit all those attacks, whole world is singing a different tune. I don't think we roll that this turn. Big shocker. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. Strange. Mm -hmm. Who who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Um, but yeah, it could certainly this is the turn where it might not hurt us at all. And we can just chill out and we can stay back. Or it could uh it could hurt us a lot, depending on what we do. So I'm gonna I should have been looking at my oh yeah, looking at my characters. So let's see. I think we may just have enough stuff to do with enough bloated range values. That we're gonna roll time wizards thing seven, so that is uh, that is an eleven. So Simeon will have negative two defense values until my next turn, which is pretty cool. Which is which shabby. is pretty cool. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So so with that in mind, that means we're gonna play this a little forward, a little forward, as they say. So. Looking at my running shot characters, all the dragons have running shot, as well as gate guardian. So that is really cool. Um, I am sort of set up right now to carry a bunch of people. But now that is, uh, ooh, it's going to change. It's just going to change. Just a touch. Just a touch. So first of all, we're going to probably, this is probably a waste, really. 
Uh, but we're going to have my Blue Eyes White Dragon. No, not that one. The other one. That's right. The 150-point Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's going to running shot, and then it's going to destroy this piece of blocking terrain right here. So it has a 10 speed. I'd just like to remind the listener that we didn't show you the point value, so there's no way to know which yeah. one Calder is currently talking about. Uh, so we're talking about this this yeah, dragon yeah. here. I, I knew that. that one. Yeah, I knew. Blue that. Eyes White Dragon Two. Uh, <laughs> he's going to move four squares, but he's going to carry uh, Miss Mystical Elf. Oh. And I don't know. Let's let's place her here, and he's just actually going to do something very simple, and he's going to destroy that piece of blocking terrain. Wow. Believe it or not. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Now, Simeon's Harpy Lady uh, doesn't have stealth, hey, luckily Harpy for me. Lady. Otherwise, that would be a whole other sh sh shebang I would have to deal with. Dark Magician, Dark Magician, Dark Magician is now going to running shots. But let's see what Dark Magician can do, because it's sort of a lot, guys. Uh, do 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 okay so let's do his free action really quickly to roll a d6 and depending on the result on a one dark magician has probability control uh, until my next turn he actually doesn't have running shot he has his mystic box ability right now which is mm, let's double check yeah it's bad so yeah he is gonna move and carry karibo however uh, do 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 do. Shuba da do do ba. Shuba da do do. Maybe maybe just to there. Doing Karibo here for right now. No no no. Let's see. Kind of want to be in the Gate Guardian's goodness here. So we're gonna we're gonna move him there. We are now gonna have this Blue Eyes One Dragon. Eleven speed, nine range. Sounds good. Uh, running shot one, two, three, four, five squares to here, carrying the flame swordsman. Well, I guess he can't put him there, can he? He's a standard sized dude. So we're going to carry the flame swordsman to there. And this blue eyes white dragon will now shoot the harpy lady with his, uh, let's double check it, yet yeah, nine range for whatever reason. You she has a negative tried. two defense. Um, that will hit. A teen, will you it? are a 15. Okay, yes, it will. For how much damage? For four damage. <clears throat> oh, I was entering psychic blast. I was rolling super senses there since you didn't, mm. listeners didn't see our oh, that's uh, right. Dials. I was rolling for my card. super senses. Um, for four damage will take me to click five, where Harpy Lady now has charge blades, combat reflexes. And Battle Fury. Now, we're not quite done yet because Blue Eyes White Dragon has a special attack power, uh, which is what his Penetrating Psychic Blast was, his White Lightning. When he uses either his uh, Pen Blast and Pulse Wave, hit characters are given an action token, and any that can't be given an action token is dealt one penetrating oh. after action resolves. So she will just get a second action token. No pushing, of course. Of course. What's no that? Pushing. Um, I have no idea what I'm even talking about. You're right. What's pushing? Uh, now we're going to have... The Castle of Dark Illusions. I know what you're thinking. Calder, the Gate Guardian, whose card we hasn't seen. He's a giant. Castle of Dark Illusions can't carry giants. Well, that's where you're wrong. Castle of Dark Illusions has a trait. He can use stealth. Uh, you smoke cloud is free. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about. Sorry. Has a special damage power. When Castle of Dark Illusions uses the carry ability, it may carry three characters normally, or it may carry one character regardless of its combat symbols. It has a seven wow. speed with whatever. So we can go one, two, four, five, six. So we're going to go ahead a little, little Castle of Dark Illusions right there. A little Gate Guardian right there. Ba-bam. Ba-bam. All right. Um, actually, yeah. They were cool with that. I know. But Calder, why are you putting everything this way? That's terrible. It's bad placement. What about a, an energy explosion? Well, that's where Gate Guardian comes in here. Now, the Gate Guardian has special damage power, which is other friendly characters in four squares can't be attacked unless they are adjacent to the attacker. Now, this is where I will now ask, because I don't want to look at all of Simeon's cards. Do you have any outwit on your team, Simeon? 
Yes. Important things to ask. Ooh. <laughs> who who uh, has outwit? So I have Jinzo has outwit. Uh, Jinzo. He is the the one up in the top with the Karibo. I there. see. And then my yeah. magician of black chaos also has outwit. Exodia has outwit with his twelve range, and that is it. That's everybody with outwit. All right. Uh, technically, so dark magician girl. I forgot to do this turn one, but um, hey, as a free action, uh, she matter. can copy two powers. Let me let me read it real quick. Uh, dark magician girl. It is, uh, give her a free action, choose a friendly character with the mystical keyword within eight squares and up to two standard powers that character possesses. She can use the chosen powers until the next turn. So she could also have ah. outwit if um, she plays right. the black chaos magicians. Simeon just has three too many outwits, two too many outwits for me to actually make a decent... Uh, chance of getting rid of all of them so we're gonna have to make our choice of getting rid of one of them instead because time wizard has outwit and we might as well do another running shot to uh really firm up the um you know your negative twos for right now so we're gonna have the Ooh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. It's got 10 speed, 8 range. So it can move 4 if it carries somebody. And then it can shoot out 8 squares. We go there. Could go there. Oh, yeah, that's super plausible. Um, yeah, we're going to have Red Eyes Black Dragon. 1, 2, or 1, 4 to there. Placing Time Wizard. Wime Wizard, like so. And let's see. Yeah. Oh, actually, we can shoot Jinzo. So we're going to shoot Jinzo with the Red Eyes Black Dragon here. All right. Jinzo see what with he his can do. energy shield invulnerability. Oh, very he nice. 20 defense where he currently stands. Which is great. So he'll be at an 18 defense, which is pretty right, cool. Right. Thanks to Toyam Wizard. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, energy explosion, and penetrating psychic blast. So we will have penetrating psychic blast. Uh, thanks to that. And then, of course, our uh, Dark Magician has prob right now. So we have two chances at it. Uh, we only needed the one, however. Uh, so that'll do four penetrating damage to Mr. Jinzo. That'll take him to click five. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, that'll be another thing for the Red Black Dragon. I realize my turn has taken awfully long. That's because there's so much garbage on my team so we're just going to end it by moving the the genie of the mystical lamp here lodge in the, the mystical genie of the lamp excuse me he's got eight speed nothing one two three four uh, and i'll just go there and it is your turn Damien. okay um my tiny little karibo Wants to be friends with the time wizard. So mm, uh, before I can do anything, I have to roll for my broken bond tokens. No bonds come off this turn. Not even the James. Get it? Get it? Did you get it? The oh, yeah, bond? no. Yeah. I, I get it. No, James, James, the James bond. bond. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. James uh, bond. Yep. <clears throat> anyhow. Uh, let's. <laughs> Uh, within six squares and line of fire. Ah, oh, wow. I don't think you were within six squares and line of fire, but it also wouldn't have mattered. Nope. Uh, Kuribo, mm. he can modify your attack by minus two. So he's just going to mm. move here and just get all up in your business. I'm going to give him a blue token because that's what turn I'm on. Um... Let me double check. There's not a lot of mystical stuff on my team. Um, the Camion Wizard is mystical. The the Harpy Lady is not. She's wind. Get it? Because wings. Um, wind. So oh, it's sure. Jinzo. Oh, Jinzo's not mystical. It's Magician of Black Chaos and Exodia. 
and Camion Wizard, and I think that is all the mystical on my team. So she has to choose one of those characters. Well, she doesn't have to, but she can choose one of those characters um, within eight squares, which I'm pretty sure only gives me the uh, Magician of Black Chaos. I'm pretty sure I could sidestep and get Exodia, but that's fine. Um, and then Gate Guardian's whole thing is I can't, I can't target uh, characters that are next to him or within within four within four of unless him. it's unless the attacker is adjacent, yeah. But I can target him. Is that correct? You can target him. That is correct. He's giant. Okay. He is a giant. What is his defense right now? Right now, I believe it is an 18 impervious. Let's double check. It is an 18 impervious. Okay. Which means kind of nothing in this game, to be honest Truly, with everybody. Absolutely nothing in this game. Um, Dark Magician Girl only has one power she really wants to take from Magician of Black Chaos. So... Huh. How, hmm. does it, how does it work if I hmm. if I target him with uh, energy explosion? Because it says they can't be targeted. Is that the wording? Yeah. So it says other friendly characters in four squares can't be attacked can't unless be attacked. they are adjacent to the attacker. Can't be attacked. Okay. So I'd imagine it, that energy explosion doesn't get around that. Um, Hard to use new rules on super old figures. Super Strange. old. Strange, I know. Um, let's copy... Yeah, I would say it doesn't, because it's make a range attack and all other characters adjacent become targeted. Right? That's, that doesn't uh, sound right. Yeah. We will copy the Dark Magician... Or no, the Magician of Black Chaos's running shot and outwit with the Dark Chaos. Magician Girl. So she mm. has nine speed, half of half. It'll be five down to three. She's going to running shot to here, I believe. I don't know why. Hindering train doesn't do anything. Oh, that's right. What would half of half? Yeah. Why would I, why would I have said that? That's so silly of me. No idea. No idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get all my ducks in a row. Rebo move. Uh, my little red riding hood. Little red riding hood. Oh, she knows wow. what's good. She from the hood. I don't know wow. if I have anybody that shares keywords with her. Forest hunter and is that it? That's it. Wow. Okay. She'd almost be really good, except no one shares keywords with her. Um, she will just... Man. I kind of want to... give her one of my traps, but it won't do anything, so... What would even the... What would the point even be? Um... Let's just move her here. She will perplex up Dark Magician Girl's D or attack. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. She'll perplex up her attack. Camion Wizard. He's not doing a whole lot. He's going to phase to here. And then Dark Magician Girl is going to running shot to here using her 7 range targeting the, the Colossal Gate Guardian with Penetrating Psychic Blast. So she is a Ooh. Yeah. a 12 for 3 damage. Okay. Will an 18 hit? An 18 hits 
perfectly. And seeing as none of my probs have a line of fire to that, he will take, you said, three damage? Yes. You go to click four. Old gate guardian there. Before he does still have that special damage power. Okay. I think... Uh, let's see what Jinzo can do before I do anything else. Jinzo, he's on click five, which an actually decent click now, which is running shot ranged combat expert, lets him have an 11 for four. Mm. Not great, but not terrible. Um, let's see. What is the, the time wizard's thing what's he doing what's he doing up there right now he has a 17 super senses 17 toy with it isn't it okay yeah okay interesting um jinzo has seven range which i think he's one away yeah he's one away so he will just running shot one square and target the time wizard with his 11 for four. No other special okay. stuff going on. Needs a six to hit on that 17. Ooh, seeing as that will hit, I'll now roll super senses. Ooh, and time wizard is right in time. Boo. I say um <laughs> let's see my b skull dragon has energy explosion opposing character with a ranged combat attack burning token on that character's card very interesting i do like the burning tokens so i think that's what we're gonna go with i'm at one two three four actions this turn cyber jar is gonna perplex up uh the B Skull Dragon. They couldn't fit all the words on the dial, so the B Skull Dragon's attack value. Um, the Magician of Black Chaos is going to do something first, though. What it is, I don't really know. He has Energy Explosion and Penetrating Psychic Blast, which is just Energy Explosion that does penetrating damage, which is great. Um... And then he puts chaos tokens on characters' cards if they don't already have one. So that's also... How chaotic of him. Very chaotic, very chaotic. Very cool, very cool. He has eight range, so you can't quite see the big boy up there yet. I also haven't outwitted his power yet. Um feel like I should have waited to move my curry bow, but that's fine. So we will running shot with the Magician of Black mm. Chaos, or whatever his name is. The Black Chaos yeah. Magician. I might have written it backwards. We'll running shot with him to here. Using his an 11 attack, he's going to do Energy Explosion targeting the Gate Guardian. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. First, I outwit the Gate Guardian's special damage there you power. Go. There so you go. That I can actually attack. Oh, him. he's got it. All right, then I do the rest of the things that I said, and uh, yeah, but blam! Oh, what is happening? Ooh. Okay, an eight. That'll Ooh. hit nineteens, which sadly. We... It's my curry bow, I believe. Uh, let me check. I'm going to check and see who's got what powers, who can roll. Um, I believe the Mystical Genie had something weird. Uh, Lejin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. Uh, when he's hit by an attack, that attack resolves. He now has his defense plus two until my next turn. So Lajin's got a plus two defense. That's Ooh. his thing. Uh, Flame Swordsman, no, he just got Toughness, so he's going to take a damage, so he'll go to click two. La Jin's got Invulnerability, oh, no, no, no. so he's... He'll go to click three, no. Penetrating oh, okay. Energy Explosion. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. So going to click three on La Jin, going to click three on him. My Kuribo, I believe, has something funny, like at the very least, Super Senses. Uh, he does have Super Senses. Posing characters targeting Kuribo with an attack, modified attack by a negative one for this attack. I don't think that would have changed a lot. Would it have? That would have made it a... Uh... They do become targeted. You would you would get a negative one attack. Yeah. So you still would so have hit 18. So yeah, that, that would not have affected any other hit character. Karibo okay. rolls his super senses, gets a five, so he's fine. Uh, my man Gate Guardian is going to go to click six. Um, and then let's see, Dark Magician. What's he got going on? Goodness gracious, quite a lot. Um. Nothing, so he'll just take two damage, go to click three, and I believe the dragon's all... Yeah, he'll go to click three. This dragon has nothing special for defense. It goes to click three, and then same thing with the dumb castle. It will also go to click three. It is your turn. I mean, it's still your turn, but yes. I feel like I took my own turn uh, there trying to solve also, all that. Everyone that's uh, now on click three also has a <laughs> Ugh. a chaos token which just All lets right. me I'll, re -roll. I'll go ahead start. I can remove it that. and force you to re-roll an attack roll is all mm. um, so Not a fan. I get one prob per person oh I forgot my Karibo would also be hit so he has to roll his super senses oh yes he also gets a let me see if it says opposing characters uh, place a chaos token on hit characters card so my Karibo also gets uh, <laughs> a Chaos token, which is kind of fun. I don't like him taking damage, but uh, sure. Oh, well, actually, doesn't your Karibo also has the modify attack negative one, but yours is for each action token, so that would have only hit well, 17. No, because my Karibo no. specifically says opposing character within six Oh, squares. so never mind. That is a friendly character. Yeah, You're right. it says never opposing mind. twice. I apologize. Okay, yeah, I, gotcha. I was checking that uh, as I was like rolling the attack. Yeah, because sure, sure, good call. That would have been interesting, but yeah, sadly my Karibo is too trusting um, of his dark magician friend. Even though he's getting murdered here, he's getting flogged, yes. <laughs> just straight up murdered. Um, I think I want. Let's see, where can B Skull Dragon go? He can get four squares, but he also has nine range. So he can just straight up target that dude. Because um, four squares doesn't really get me a whole lot of places. It's definitely not going to get me anywhere that I super want to be. I guess right here is fine. And then I can target that guy, or alternatively one of these people yeah that seems like the best option so I don't just straight up murder my own Karibo that I moved in the wrong position so we'll do that my beast skull dragon will running shot four squares to here and let's target I guess I'd have to see this guy. Can I see? Because I can, I can see like the edge of this square. I just don't know if like this guy, if I can't see past it, because I can't draw a line to the center of that square. So maybe it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah. In that case, yeah, we're just gonna target the gate guardian again. The gate guardian once again so uh yeah. beast skull dragon he has the molten fireballs attack uh he also has once per game free action choose a friendly character that has not been given an action this turn and ooh, that might also be fun um so he has energy explosion when he hits an opposing character with a ranged attack place a burning token on that character's card if there isn't one already and then even if this power is lost or countered when a character with a burning token begins a turn, deal that character one penetrating damage. K 
characters with burning tokens can be given oh, wow. a power action to remove the burning token from its card. Mm. So he was perplexed up by the cyber jar. So he's a 12 attack. He yes. Will attempt Back to... down to an 11 since he's targeting an energy explosion. But yes, yes. here we go. Here we go. Attempt to murder his own Karibo. Yes, indeed. Ooh, that's that going to hit 20s. Yes. Well, that'll hit everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, let's see. Who? Uh, so actually, 20s. No, Mystical Genie would have a 19. So he is also still hit, sadly. Majin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp, will take uh, one damage. Is this not it's penetrating, not right? Penetrating, so everybody so yeah. with. Okay. Anyone that can reduce by two will Real reduce, quick. but they'll still or... get a burning token. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Which I'll have to, uh, whatever, put that in the blue. So the chaos token is in the red. <laughs> burning tokens in the blue. Uh, uh, yikes! Goodness gracious. Uh, hit, not damaged. Still doesn't matter, right? All right, cool. Right. So, do 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 do. Um, checking people that are going to reduce it. Kuribo needs to roll super senses. Uh, does not get it. He'll take two damage. Go to click three. Uh, get your animal reduced by two, as will the blue eyes white dragon. The castle will not reduce by two; it will reduce by one. Now go to click four. Okay. Uh, Dark magician will reduce by one. Go to click four. And then. Flame Swordsman will not reduce by anything. He'll go to click five. All right. And I'll give them all a burn token. This is only six actions so far, but I really don't have... I do have my Red Eyes, who's only got Sidestep, but he also has... Ranged combat action. Choose a square within range and line of fire. The area of effect for this attack includes all other characters within two squares of the targeted square. Oh, I need to roll, before I do anything else, I need to roll super senses for my Karibo. He is mm. going to die next turn. <laughs> um, yeah, he was already given an action. This was a... Set it, putting him over there was just bad. So he goes to click... F oh, wait, he's already on click three? Yeah, because of the energy explosion. Yeah, so one, two, so he just So dies. is he just dead? Ah, so he, he is just dies. dead. Yeah, so that was a good idea, moving him there for no reason. Yes. Uh, this Karibo yes. is not the to one that explodes. Um, sadly, oh. he does nothing other than stay alive if you don't blow him up yourself. Uh, Forest Man is an option that I have. He has five range which probably sees nothing of importance. Um, tiny Child is tiny, though. So I can just shoot right over her head with Precision Strike and Ranged Combat Expert. So I could shoot at the Mystical Genie. That's about it. Um, just so you know, he does technically have a plus three defense because it is each time he is uh, hit by an attack. Gets plus two, obviously caps at plus oh, three. I, I don't know if I if you heard, but I said forest hunter. So clearly he's got some good <laughs> stats. Of um, course. Is Mr. Forest Hunter. Is super long name Green Man over a hundred points? He is not uh yes he is. He's 110 points, actually. Uh, then I get a plus one to attack when I target him. Ah, you have um, a uh what is okay. <laughs> So All right. I, would actually I do have, shape change. I would have a 12 so you know. for 3. Uh, let me finish figuring out what this uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon does. Okay. Um, so I have sidestep, and then I pick a square within range and line of fire, which I could get to, like... I could just, like, you know, pick that square. And then the area of effect is all other characters within two squares of the targeted square... All hit characters are dealt two penetrating damage. So that would just Ooh, be... Ah. That would actually be somewhat okay. So... 
yeah, I guess he doesn't even need to move. He'll just do that. Um, Gate Guardian no longer has that special defense, right? Well, I outwitted it for one, but... Yeah, he doesn't, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I'll start with uh, my red eyes, except I spelled it red eyes. There's a typo. There we go. Um, he is an 11 into things. I'll go ahead and roll shape change on La Jin. I assume that'll trigger. Doesn't matter. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, sucks. I don't even <laughs> square. <laughs> From this square. Wow. So it would, it'll be so, within two squares. And it just says um, all hit characters are dealt two penetrating damage. I don't know. Yeah, well, you're going to increase you're gonna increase your damage dealt by one. So it would be three pen. They'll each, each take character. three. Yeah. What an yeah. effective turn this is turning out to be. <laughs> wow. That sucks. I didn't even get no. to use my flame swordsman. No was, one voted for him. I he was my Mary Sue that I put on my team. I, just I was kind of sad when there. Jinzo missed his attack earlier, but now I'm I'm feeling a little bad because this has been a pretty devastating turn. Does this castle die? This castle definitely gets nuked to death, and I can now use the castle's traps on that one. Oh, and then white dragon is going to go to click six. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so for the final act of defiance in my turn, mm. Forest Man, with mm. his 12 attack, targeting La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. It's going to be, be a 19. He Not that that probably matters. Attempt to deal three damage. Uh, oh, that does hit yeah, a that'll, that'll hit it. That will hit the 19. That will kill Lodgin, the mystical genie of the lamp. You doubted, Forest Man. Mighty I did. Uh, not going to lie. I did. Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Um, let's see. Cyber Jar will clear. Well, before mm. Cyber Jar clears, uh, Dark Magician Girl will sidestep back into hindering. Cyber Jar will clear. And that is the... Oh, Harpy Lady clears. And that is it for my team. All right. How does... What was it? Black Skull Dragon gave us things? At the beginning of our turn, we gave it? Black Skull Dragon. Yes. So Black his... Skull Dragon. His molten fireballs gives you a burning token. Gins a turn, they each take one. Okay. Yeah. And then you have to take a. So it doesn't like remove when you clear like some of them. You have to actually take a power. This guy will go to five. Oh, this guy will go to seven. Gate Guardian. Jeez, I hope Gate Guardian's got a tenth click, otherwise, I'm going to be pissed. I'm not pissed. All right, cool, cool, cool. But he, his turn is going to have to be power actioning to remove that bullshit. Uh, let's see. Um, so this once again this becomes a turn of Simeon does not have a lot of attacks he can make. A lot of characters are double tokened. Um, and it's whether or not I have enough attacks I can use to roll it. We're going to roll it anyways because Mama didn't raise no, you know what I mean? Um, and that will not be good for us. That will be bad. That will be bad for us. So Time Wizard <laughs> says we have negative two defense this turn. Uh, other beginning of the game, of, or being a turn, I'm going to check the Mystical Elf. She's at the beginning of your turn. You may roll a d6. Can be rolled. On a four through six, she does get a heal on adjacent character. One click, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so she will be able to heal the White Dragon back up to click six, which is pretty neat. That's why I like her. I mean... Um, yeah, it she is much, pretty consistent. She's pretty cool. She does also have support, which is cool. Uh, let me check if there's any other beginning of the game stuff. My other white dragon has leadership through click four. Um, 
I honestly can't remember which white dragon is which. Uh, 053. Let's check. Shall we? Because I don't remember. I remember not. One of them silver. One of them is not. I just named one white dragon too, which is a dumb idea. Uh, one is silver. The other that is white is the starter set. So the silver, the whatever one is fine. So he will roll leadership. Um, and he'll fail. Um, now, Dark Magician gets a roll. Goodness gracious, where is he in my set list? Dark Magician. He's on click whatever, so he does not actually he does not get his roll. Uh, he does have his trading places thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and have Mystical Elf try to roll support against... Uh, well, actually, yeah, we'll sidestep Gate Guardian to here. Uh, with the negative two defense, that will actually sort of help a Mystical Elf roll against Gate Guardian due to the fact he has a 19 right now. That is He's going to power action to remove his dumb whatever token. So he'll get rid of that. Definitely make that a blue for right now. Let's have her roll support, see what she gets, see if we can heal him up. Uh, we will. That will hit, thanks to our negative two from Time Wizard. So it's all working out. Um, and we'll go ahead and roll for support. Uh, is a three. And it's with minimum support, two. minimum two. So it's half. So yeah, he's going to heal up two clicks, old Gate Guardian here. Uh, so now I'm going to go two click eight, which is a little bit better. A little bit better for old Gate Guardian. That'll be Miss Mystical Elf. Um, I can also do some power actions. He's removed his Kurbo. Um, I'm gonna have him move one, two, four, five. We'll have him go there for right now. Make sure that's blue. Um, Kerbo, he only hit from the one energy explosion. Yeah, so he is where he should be. All right, cool. Nice, 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 nice. We have a couple different powers we can mess around with here. Uh, who is the scariest right now? Honestly, with not a lot of ways to take off tokens, it's probably Dark Magician Girl, and then, of course, the Magician of Dark Chaos, Black Chaos, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, that was an idiotic thing for me to say. Let's go ahead and decide how we want to divvy up our, our stuff here. So this Blue Eyes White Dragon is super duper feeling amazing, as is Red Eyes White Dragon. So, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. There's so much filler talk because uh, <laughs> I'm just There's trying to look at all these freaking figures. There's yeah. a lot of figures on the side, yeah. So this one I do have, does it have Pulse Wave? This is nine range, Pen Blast. Uh, he will be able to go one, two, three, four. Uh, what's Dark Magician Girl, I guess, rocking for her defense? Uh, she only has Invuln, so... She is mm. uh, currently an 18 invuln with prob and technically okay. outwit. Um, okay. In hindering, that'll be a 19 for a ranged attack. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna running shot this guy. She's not of negatives anything. I don't have any perplexes. I don't believe with my dark magician. Right, he does have props. We will have two props on it. Uh, so we're running shot. Oh, that's the wrong blue eyes white dragon. We're gonna running shot. Oh, so I guess we better move that blue eyes white dragon out of the way. This one that is on click six. To do what can you do on click six? Oh wow, he actually is hypersonic with ranged combat expert. He will be able to be an 11 for three, which is sort of neat, I guess. Uh, let's have him do something, shall we? Um, let's look at the magician of black chaos here. What's he rocking? Okay, not gonna do much if we just do that. So we're gonna hypersonic. Let's see, one, two, four, five. We're gonna hypersonic a two here. Uh, we're going to shoot Black Skull Dragon. Oh, Black Skull see what Dragon. See we can do. Little... Uh, that will miss. That will miss pretty bad. Yes. Three, one, two, three. 
So then he'll finish his hypersonic to there. Now we'll have my normal blue eyes, white dragon, running shots to here, shooting at dark magician girl. Oh. Um, and that will hit a okay. 21. I will prob it with Camion Wizard. Camion Wizard gets a prob. Ooh, that will hit a 19. I will prob it with Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girl gets a prob. That will miss, so I'll prob it with my normal Dark Magician. That will also miss, so I will now prob it with my Mystical Elf. Oh, Ooh. and that will crit hit. How much damage? <clears throat> how much damage is that? Uh... That will be that will be five damage from the blue eyes <laughs> white dragon penetrating psychic blast. Oh, putting my dark magician girl on click five. six. Not a great click, but it's fine. She's fine. No, not fantastic. Um. Using both my probs, feeling a little rough, we're going to now running shot with the red eyes black dragon. One, two, three, four. To here, carrying my toy wizard to here. And we're going to have him shoot the magician of black chaos. Okay. Oh, a seven. That'll hit an 18. Although he isn't hindering, so I'm not feeling great yeah, about that. He's a 19 in hindering. Ah, okay. Uh, so then we are just going to, with Time Wizard, we're going to outwit his energy explosion y power. Um, oh. Not that I'm sure it matters too much right now. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to say Time Wizard is going to be here, outwitting that power. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know if placement super matters. And now the Dark Magician, this is where he gets to decide if he just wants to power action, remove his token, or if he wants to do something. Dark Magician got powers. What can I say? Looking to figure out what they are. He's on click four. He does have his free action. Choose two standard attack powers. He can use both of them to the end of my next turn, which is pretty good. He has four damage. He has ten attack. He's got ten range, but he does not have a prob anymore. Um, and I don't see him getting better, so he is just going to power action to remove his fire token. And bippity boppity, get off my property. It is Simeon's turn. Okay. First things first, I've got to roll for Exodia, the broken bond tokens. A six. Oh, that's he right. We down. still have to worry. Even when all of this is over, <laughs> even when Exodia all of this is, is over, all the way we back have there. to kill Exodia. Speaking of which, within his 12 range is now Time Wizard. Son of a gun. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Ah, uh, son Curry of a gun. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> yes, no one expects Exodia. Wow. But then there he is. 12 range, no. 12 attack, 5 no. damage without wit. Oh boy, do I like that combo. <laughs> the pulse wave doesn't help me. Although the six range pulse no. wave is fun. No. I can hit my own cyber jar with my pulse wave. Cyber jar. Um, wow. I can't target, so he still can't be uh, targeted, moved, placed, attacked, or damaged. So I can't even perplex or prob him. So it. It is possible that he crit misses, and since crit misses are unavoidable damage, that gets past other things that say can't be damaged. Oh, sure. So, yeah, un unavoidable would still... Uh, it's possible that he crit misses and deals himself a damage. Um, what's fun is his, his defense power, the most powerful monster. It says Exodia, the Forbidden One, ignores all but one damage dealt to it. This power can't be countered or ignored, which on the surface sounds really good until you realize that it doesn't reduce at all. So poison gets through that power, which Ooh, is yeah, you're right. real hmm. silly. Um, it's never happened to me when I play Exodia, but yeah, it is, right. a, it is a thing to be aware of. Um, so at 
this point, my curry bow would take one penetrating damage, except he already died, so he doesn't have to. Mm. Um, I really want somebody to activate... Let's see. Who all has taken damage? Dark Magician Girl and Harpy Lady. Harpy Lady has Battle Fury. Um, I'm going to... I think she might survive another turn. So I'm going to have her power action put on the Torrential Tribute. Oh, okay. Okay. Which I don't know if that's supposed to be a surprise or not, but it's a trap. So you've been Ooh. warned. Yeah. Uh, All right. I don't know how surprising that is, but uh, she'll power action <clears throat> with that. Very surprised. She has battle fury, so she can't be carried, and I can't move her now that she's taken an action token. Um, my dark magician of black, or my magician of black chaos. Uh, he still has his outwit, so I could just outwit the Time Wizard's outwit. Um, but I think it'd be more fun. Does Time Wizard still have uh, super senses? Time Wizard does still have super senses. I'm going to outwit that with Exodia and shoot at okay. him with Exodia. Which okay. he's got a he's got a twelve for five. Let's see what what that. Does. And I'll I'll have a fifteen defense with the time wizard, so that will uh, hit a twenty. Uh, so he'll go to he'll go to click six. The poor good, time good. wizard. Um, does he still have outwit on click six? No, he does not. He is perplexed now. Okay, what's his defense looking like? He has energy shield deflection with the seventeen. So, uh, from range, it'll still just be a seventeen. From close, it'll be a fifteen. What does uh, the red eyes black dragon have for defense? Uh, the red eyes black dragon has a seventeen with impervious, so a fifteen defense. Okay. <laughs> uh, Real give and takes with the time wizard. He really gives and takes. I'm gonna outwit the impervious with my magician. Oh, this can't be good. Yeah. Dark chaos, black chaos magician. Sure. Order. Yeah. And he is Why going not? to just shoot at you for. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess he can running shot. He'll running shot to here. He has of course he will. Why not? Coward. Um, he'll running shot to there and just target target you for regular damage. So it'll be a okay. 11 into your 16 because of hindering. Mm. And oh, that will hit. really likes me right now. So yes. that'll be for four damage. Oh, so I'll go to click five on the red eyes oh. black dragon. Exodia has to take an action for doing stuff. Uh, it should be a red action, though. Um, my Camion Wizard can also do something he doesn't have great range but he's close enough to people he has psychic blast for two with five range which is the ranges in this set are all over the place there's some people with just like stupid high range and then stupid low he will target the blue eyes closest to him mm. with psychic blast Whoops. Mm, of course. Ah, uh, we'll have the Dark Magician prob that then, I suppose. Okay. Ah, of course. <laughs> so we'll have... Gold Tony is just... Uh, whatever, we'll take it. We'll take really, it. I don't really think... lighten them up. Yeah, that's like right on the apex, so I don't think we can see it. Um... Miss Mystical Elf. See what I'm saying? How it's like right on the... I want to say it. it's on the corner and it would take the path of least resistance. So I think you could. Okay. So we'll go with that. We'll have Miss Mystical Elf prob it then. Will a 17 hit? Uh, It probably still does. Yes. Uh, Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, we had to try. For how much? For two. Psychic two, Blast so for two. Three. Um, 
Oz Ramirez on HC Realm says, Not a game breaker, but definitely a nice support piece with little secondary attacker potential. Plus his armor okay. looks cool. His head, not so much. Um, I mean, I guess that's true. He he was a support piece, and then I just attacked with him secondarily. So those things are correct. Uh, Dark Magician Girl would have to sidestep to copy some power. Uh, that's fine. Um, what is blue eye? Well, he's double tokened. I'm not super worried about her getting just exploded. So she is on click five. Oh, she doesn't have sidestep anymore. She got knocked down to click six. So she can actually only copy from Camion Wizard. And he doesn't have anything amazing. Camion Wizard has. Um, I guess he could take her. She could take his prob, and she already has energy shield. He has phasing, psychic blast, and prob. She has pulse wave and perplex. So, yeah, she'll free action take Camion Wizard's prob and. Uh, energy shield, or no, not energy shield, psychic blast, yeah. Prob and psychic blast, because those are the only powers that she doesn't have that are useful. Um, and then she'll attempt to shoot at, uh, does she want to attempt to shoot? I think so. Yeah. Uh, she'll attempt to shoot at Blue Eyes Dragon 2. Okay. So she will perplex up her attack, I suppose, because that's the only power she has. Um, and she is a 10 for 2 damage. Okay, well, he has a 15 defense. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. And I'm glad uh, I grabbed that prob. That is a very good idea that you grabbed that prob. Uh, is this going to be penetrating damage? This will be, yeah, psychic blasting. Okay. Um, so yeah, he'll take what two damage you said? Two damage. Five. Um my little red riding hood has perplex and mind control. Ooh. Let's do that. Let's have uh let's see. My red eyes has no support powers, yeah. Little red riding hood will perplex up her attack. And attempt to close attack Curry Bow with mind control. Mm. So she will be at an impressive 10 attack. Nice. That will hit the Curry Bow. Does he still have super senses? He does not, no. Okay, so on click four, what are we looking at for speed? Is he around a seven? That's what mine was. Uh, he does have seven, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's just move him right there for now. And mm. then he will, let's see, yeah, one, two, or wait, seven. One, two, three, four. I cannot move him nearly that far. Um, yeah, about to say. Four squares. Two, Big three, four squares four. is where you can go. One, two, three, four. Oh, if only I had perplexed up his speed. Uh, yeah, we'll go one, two, three, <laughs> four squares to here. And then Curry Bow will try and attack the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Hmm. I have no idea what his attack values are or what his damage is. Ooh, an eight. So an eight will hit. He has blades and exploit. I know the exploit will stack with mind control. Um, let me see what the. Uh, it is, is when this character makes a close attack. It's not. Okay. Capital close or anything. It's just one of the to make it close stack. So blades will work with mind control. Yeah. Exploit now. 
which is mm, super it's pretty fun. Bad. Somehow, two, oh, two clicks, not so bad. I imagine... We'll go to click seven. I imagine two is probably what he already had printed, but that's that's fine. He had a one printed, so that is better. <laughs> oh. It is better. Mm -hmm. All right, so just keeping track of my actions, that's one with Exodia, one with Magician of Black Chaos, one with Camion Wizard, one with Scary Child... One with Dark, Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, Scary Child, Dark so that's Magician. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Harpy Lady took an action to put a power spell action spell or trap yeah. on her. Um, I think Jinzo will clear. My Cyber Jar should probably move somewhere. So we'll move my Cyber Jar. He can phase five. One, two, three, four. He'll go there. Just because I don't know what he does other than that. Uh, and then I will clear B Skull, Red Eyes, uh, Forest Man, and Jinzo. And that is my hmm. turn. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of my turn, I believe my blue eyes, white dragon, my white one, will take the damage. I believe he's the only one that has that on it now, since the other ones died or did a power action to remove it. Yes, that is correct. Uh, that is one beginning of the turn effect. The other beginning of the turn effect being the mystical elf lady uh, will heal the gate guardian one click to click seven. And the last beginning of the game effect we can choose to do is roll for time wizard. I'm going to say no, absolutely not. Will we be rolling for time wizard? <laughs> why not? Uh, and, and here's why not because it's so it, fun, not because it did us dirty last turn, but because the amount of attacks we can make this turn is much less than the amount of attacks Simeon can make next turn. Uh, uh, he'll have a red eyes, black true. dragon, black skull dragon, being able to make an attack as well as the forest hunter and potentially the hay harpy lady. Uh, as well as Exodia can make and an Jinzo. attack next Don't turn. Don't forget about Jinzo uh, hiding up there. Oh, and Jinzo. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Um, however, I can only make <laughs> potentially uh, two attacks this turn. Um, that would be with Gate Guardian and Time Wizard. So we will not be rolling Time Wizard's thing. We will definitely have the Mystical Elf go ahead and do support again uh, and see what happens. That is an 11, and that will succeed on the Gate Guardian. Uh, and that is a 3, so we will heal another 2 clicks on the Gate Guardian. 2 click 5 on the Gate Guardian. So he is uh, getting pretty healthy. He's feeling pretty good right now, which is solid, which is what we want to see from the Gate Guardian. So now he's got 8 range. He's the tallest dude here, so we can see everybody. So trying to sort of think of characters that Sort of need to take some damage. I'm thinking the Black Skull Dragon is probably our biggest threat right now. So we're going to have the Gate Guardian go ahead and shoot him. Uh, simple as. I'm going to double check. See if we have any good support powers. The Time Wizard does have Perplex. And he is within six squares, which is cool. So we will Perplex up the damage value of the Gate Guardian whoa, for whoa, sure. Whoa, whoa. Uh, just so we can be at a five. That yeah. That's not a thing. Oh, that is correct. Yes, we will perplex up the attack value is, of the game. That Gate has never Guardian. been Excuse a thing. Me. What do you even. That's <laughs> never been a thing. I don't know why I thought. Perplex is always red. The year Free, is 2030, range six. Choose and a target from the character in range no and line of fire. Modify one of that character's <laughs> combat values other than damage, plus one or negative one until your next turn. I don't know why I thought I could do damage. It explicitly says I can't. So yeah. perplex is attack value up. And two and eleven, and uh, actually, I think uh, I would energy explosion, but I want to damage the black skull dragon and all of this. So we're not going to do that. We are just going to regular shoot the black skull dragon. We have a twelve attack, and then two probs on it. I believe that is all we can grab right now. Um, and that will hit twenties. Okay, I have a few things going on. I have the camion wizard. With prob, mm -hmm. get yes. him range six. He so will do his prob. We will reroll that. Oh, that is those, a ten. Those now look cocked to me. Uh, they do look a little cocked. I will not lie. I will have the dark magician girl use her prob. That she is the dark the magician wizard. girl. Yes, uh, ah. that will still hit. I will have the magician oh, of black chaos right now. 
use his chaos uh, yes. token to force a reroll. Oh boy. All right, so yet to get rid of that now. Cool. Uh, fantastic. Uh, and that'll hit a 19. Only 19s. On Black Skull Dragon? On Black Skull Dragon. Well, luckily, Black Skull Dragon has an 18. So let's see. What's he going down to? You're dealing four, so he will take two. Deal four damage, yeah. And go to click three. Very cool. Well, quote unquote, very, click three. It's very actually sweet. click six because I'm not playing him at full points. But all right, who cares? We're now going to move my Curvo back to his little pocket yeah. of the universe <laughs> here, um, just because kind of where that's where I like him. Uh, all right, so now that we've done that, we do have Time Wizard that can take a shot, and I suppose he can take a shot at Jinzo. Uh, however, with no negatives right now, his probably better shot is against the Hey Hey Harpy Lady. Yeah. So, what is she rocking right now? Hey Hey Harpy Lady has uh, Battle Fury for sure. Uh, right. Combat reflexes with a 16. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to be Time Wizards where he's going to shoot a shot. So. Let's roll up them dice for old time wizard. That will miss. And then let's uh, let's see. Dark magician see him? No, he definitely can't. It definitely goes to red eyes black dragon square. So yeah, it's time wizard. We're gonna clear the uh, red eyes black. Oh, let's see who has sidestep here, shall we? If we have any shufflings around, blue eyes do not have it. Red eyes uh, might have it actually. He does have it, so he'll sidestep back two squares. Move the time wizard to there. He will clear. Dude, uh, let's see. Dark Magician. What is he rocking right now? He does not have sidestep, so he will just clear. Dude. Then I believe both these uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons don't have sidestep. That one definitely doesn't. And then the second one also doesn't, so they will just clear. Interesting. <clears throat> and it is your turn just like that all right i will roll for my uh broken chains uh exodia is still bound um still not, bound it's not broken chains it's uh broken bond tokens uh oh wait no it's two through four remove a broken bond token I thought it was three through four. So he actually is free this turn. He is at zero broken bonds now. Two sixes and a two will do it. Um, I don't think I have any other beginning of the game things or beginning of the turn things. Uh, so he's got sidestep but moves three squares instead of two. He can already see 12 squares. And then if I sidestep three, that'll give me that that row is what I can target. Um, oh, how I would love to just get Time Wizard completely gone and out of there. Let's mm. see. Jinzo has running shot with his ranged combat expert. So he's an 11 for four with his running shot. And he can move four squares, seven range. That's pretty decent. Uh, I think my Harpy Lady needs to at least get one attack in since she has done nothing but been a meat shield this whole game. So we will charge blades with my nine attack. Uh, let's have my, my scary child perplex her attack to a ten. And she mm. will charge to exactly that square. And attempt to blades the black eyes, black dragon, red eyes, wing man. Ten attack. Okay. Ooh, that will miss. Well, uh, fifteen will miss. I will prob it with my camion wizard. Yeah. Does a sixteen hit? That will miss. Okay, that's all I had then. Um, Jinzo. Yeah. 
with seven range. Uh, let me move four squares. Not quite. So I think he's best just taking a shot at the black eyes. The uh, red eyes black to roll dragon. Four is shape change with the harpy lady. So uh, I'll do that now. Well, she had battle fury. Yeah, so that's fine. Oh well, never mind. You're right. That would have ignored it. Yes. Um, so he'll miss it. Jinzo does not have battle fury though. That will hit. That will hit twenty. For we'll three. Hit. Three. So he'll take one because he has invulnerability. Wait. Hang on. No, he's got three printed, so with ranged combat expert, that'll be ah, four. So he'll go take two. So he'll go seven. <clears throat> Jinzo will take a blue action token. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos. Can't do a whole lot. He could have outwitted something there because he does have range. Um, still technically could. What's Blue Eyes White Dragon doing down here? Uh, that blue eyes white dragon uh, is a 17 toughness and he's got pulse wave. Those are the only two powers he has. 17 tough with pulse wave. Um, let's. My B skull dragon has sidestep, so he's going to attempt to sidestep break away from your curry bow. Mm. Mm, does succeed, sadly. Does Karibo have uh, plasticity? Uh, he doesn't anymore. Okay. So I will go one, two squares to here and attempt to psychic blast the blue eyes white dragon. Ooh, all right. So I have an 11 for four. That will hit. I'll get rid of my blue eyes okay, white dragon. Say, Roll 20 just, ooh, it just loves me. It just really loves me. Calder, it could take or leave, but me, man, roll 20 is like, ooh. Very true, very true. It does it does hate me so, for some reason. I mean, comparatively, I feel like I get I get a lot of the better rolls. Um, my Red Eyes B Dragon. This, this thing was true on tabletop simulators. So. Yeah. It's, it's just weird, online. But, uh, yeah. He can still do the range combat action, uh, choose a square within range and line of fire, uh, and the area of effect includes all other characters within two squares. So he's going to... He has seven range, so he can pick a square within seven range and line of fire. I almost want to just... Hmm. Not quite not quite good uh two squares that would hit harpy lady it would miss those two so that square is kind of lame here would hit these two in dark magician and miss harpy lady um there's not a great from this square can see this one it's still not going to hit blue eyes i'd have to be able to target like this square to hit blue eyes those two uh yeah let's go with this square here so it'll be dark magician mystical elf and gate guardian um okay so i will have cyber jar perplex up red eyes attack to a 12 um, mm -hmm. I will have Dark Magician Girl as a free action. Let me double check. Yeah, it's a trait. So as a free action, she's going to cop copy the Camion Wizard's um, prob probability control and his. Doesn't really matter what else. So we'll say phasing teleport. Um. Red Eyes will attempt to blow some stuff up over there with his 12 attack. That'll hit Uh 19s. Yeah, that'll hit 19s. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. So you're outside of our prob range for two penetrating damage. Yeah, that just sort of sucks. Dark Magician doesn't have eight range. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, he has 10 range, so he can prob it, I suppose. Ooh, yeah, see, that that's just sort of better. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. Yeah. Then, yeah, she doesn't have any range. So, yeah. All right. Dark Magician going to click six. He goes to click three. The Guardian is going to go to click seven. So, Jinzo attacked. Harpy Lady attacked. Red Eyes attacked. Black Skull Dragon attacked. It's four actions. I still have my Forest Man that can leap and climb. I think he might do that to get a better vantage point. Um, Exodia, 12 range. I can I can see Time Wizard from there. So he's going to sidestep. Let me, let me double check this. It is... Can you sidestep but use moves three squares instead of two? So yeah, he's going to sidestep to here... And does Time Wizard have, what was it, Energy Shield? Uh, he is ESD, yeah. I will outwit that with Exodia, the Forbidden okay. One, or so I've heard. Hmm. Uh, and then he'll shoot at you with a 12 for 5. Ah. Ah, hit believe it or not, so. Time Wizard dies. I do believe it. I really do. <laughs> Because Exodia is kind of bad in this particular format. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five. It's five actions. Uh, Forest Man will attempt to use Leap Climb and Breakaway, although it doesn't give him a bonus anymore. So it's still a regular Breakaway. That will succeed, though. So he will go uh, up to his speed value, which is 8. I think he's just going to go here. 5 range from there. No. He's going to go... He's going to go right there. And he's going to take the tiny, scary child with him. And... Cami on Wizard will clear, I think. Or did he shoot at Blue Eyes this turn? He did, yeah. Okay, so it'll be... Dark Magician Girl clears. Magician mm -hmm. Black Chaos clears. Cyber Jar clears. And that is it. Uh, scary child also clears. She was carried. All right, that is my turn. Oh, you know what I forgot? Okay. Exodia is a colossal, so he gets willpower on a three through six. How fun! I can't wait to roll that next. Oh, that's turn. right. Yeah, yeah. Goodness gracious! All right, so let's just do a turn with the mystical elf. Try to heal. Of course, she fails it. Why would she hit it? Um, let's see what we want to do here. There's not a whole lot. Uh, we can only make three attacks this turn. The game is pretty much already over, so another blue eyes white dragon power action to get rid of his burning token finally. And your gate guardian uh, is Dark also Magician. A, a giant boy, right? He is giant, yeah. He oh that is true, I guess. So he he can roll. Power. What's it called? Yeah, that's right. Colossal willpower mm. on a three through six. Oh, damn. Okay. So, yeah, he does get to do that. That is true. He does get to do that. So, with that in mind, what is he rocking on click seven? Cool. He does have energy explosion with range combat expert. So, he can be an 11 for four shooting one person or... He can just sort of energy explode some people. So that could be all right. That could be all right. Let's see. He does have a lot of multi-target going on here, which is pretty nice, him being a giant and all. So we could target one group with, like, the common wizard, the dark magician girl could be targeted. 
And then as well could be the forest man. Uh, what is his range? It is eight range. 10 squares. So he's got eight. So we can target to here, which is kind of cool. Spread out the damage or shoot one person for four. Uh, Dark Magician is free action. Choose two standard attack powers. He has powers in the end of the turn. It's pretty solid. Then he has his Mystic Box, double power action. Choose a target character in range of line of fire. Place in the target character in each other's squares and deal damage to the target character. Deal one unavoidable damage. Uh, kind of neat for a double power action. Interesting. Two attack powers. Let's see. What are good ones that we could use? I could sort of stack here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we could also choose the energy Pensai explosion. Pensai really... with everything now because it's just blanket yeah, so damage like, for rain. Pen, Pensai energy explosion wouldn't be terrible from the Dark Magician. He also has 10 range. Pretty crazy. Can't see them blocking terrain though. Uh, so yeah, he does have whoa, I don't think so. All right. Uh, let's see. 10 range is pretty cool. We can get rid of, we can try to get rid of the magician of black chaos. I think that's what we do. We're going to choose, yeah, penetrating with the dark magician. We're going to try to get rid of the magician of black chaos here. That will mm. hit, uh, for four damage. I will probably with the camion wizard. Mm. Okay. Uh, that will miss, and then we'll prob it with the Dark Magician himself, which will miss. And then we'll prob it with the Mystic Elf herself, which will hit an 18, but uh, being in Hindering will probably then miss by one. Magician of Blood cool. Chaos Very cool. is still on click one, so yeah, he's a 19 yes. in Hindering. Oh. That's the Dark Magician. Uh, let's have Gate Guardian. He will target Forest Man, Dark Magician Girl, and the Camon Wizard with Energy Explosion. And we'll see what happens there. That will hit 17s. Hmm. Let's see here. That was Gate Guardian? Yes. Dark Magician Girl will be safe. Camion Wizard, so 17s. Dark Magician Girl is a 18 from range, plus one for hindering. Uh, Camion Wizard is, where is he? He is also rocking a 19 because of hindering and energy shield. And then you are also targeting the dragon, the skull dragon. I know, the forest man. Oh, forest man. He's probably definitely hit. He is a 17 with combat reflexes, so he will be hit with energy explosion. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to take two, going to click three. Little Red Riding Hood will also take two, going to three. She has Mastermind, but cannot, cannot Mastermind because uh, Forced Man's also taking damage. So they both go to click three, making her... Pretty much garbage. She is unusable at this point. <laughs> Not so scary, child. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess, does Kurvo take that? I don't remember. Oh, he would have to be... Yeah. A 17? Kuribo would be next to Cayman Wizard. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kuribo... Is a 16, so he will take that and he'll go to click six. Is he dead on? He is dead on click six, so uh, all adjacent characters are dealt two penetrating damage. No, the bowl will disappear. Cameon Wizard will go to um, then Cyber I don't know, I think it's probably oh, yeah, I guess we do the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon, what have we got here? You're on click seven. Uh, sharp claws. Well, that is not useful at all. He's a nine for three. She has combat reflexes. So, I'm just going to try to break away with the red eyes black dragon. And we'll get it. Hmm. We'll just move him over here. Clear our mystical elf. It's your go. 
Okay. Uh, I will roll for willpower with Exodia. Ah, a three will allow me to clear an action. Um, man, it's just too good being big in this game now. Uh, let's see, my my Camion Wizard still has prob and dropped Pensai for Precision Strike. So if my Dark Magician Girl wants to copy anything, it's going to be Precision Strike and prob. Um... That's fine. She will do that. She'll free action copy those two powers. Um, actually, Exodia's within eight now. Let's see. How is, how is her thing worded? Uh, two standard powers that the character possesses. So I think she could technically take the sidestep. She could take the invincible outwit. That's what she'll do. She'll take Invincible and Outwit from Exodia. That seems like a better combo. Um, what is Gate Guardian doing right now? What's his defense? Gate Guardian is rocking. Probably a 17 invuln. Uh, click 7. A 17 invulnerability. Okay. Dark, Mag Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> will outwit the invulnerability and my B skull dragon will attempt to on click three uh, he doesn't have his energy explosion anymore he will sidestep down to here and attempt to shoot your blue eyes with his penetrating psychic blast for four damage it's an 11 for mm -hmm. four ah luckily my mm. camion wizard can see this and he will probability control it all right that's blue eyes okay uh that is Action one. Uh, my cyber jar is no longer. I lost all of my perplexers, which was just two of them, but it was in the same turn, so it feels really bad. Uh, my cyber jar can now phase with a speed value of three. Oh boy, he can't really get anywhere. That's some real, and he's not even tiny sized. Okay, uh, Magician of Black Chaos is my other decent attacker. He has running shot with an 11 for four and eight range. So eight range. The set just has a ton of range. He'll running shot to here and he'll target Gate Guardian. He does have the energy explosion with Pensai, so I guess we'll just do that instead of his four damage. Uh, we will prob it with Dark Magician. Uh -huh. Got a okay, mystical yeah. wolf there. Nope. No prob on her? Okay. Uh, no. I mean, she can't see you. She's seven squares away. She only has... If she has any range, it's probably not high. Yeah, she's zero range, so yeah, she can't see you oh, with her be problem. Minimum six, okay. Yeah, she'll take One two more. Away. Yeah. Um, it's a red action token. Um, then they all get a chaos token again if they didn't already have one. Uh, let's see. Jeez, oh jeez. What is what is Dark Magician rocking? He has an amazing 16 toughness right now. 17 oh toughness, excuse me. 
Let's sidestep Exodia to here. And... Uh, let's see. No, I'll have to sidestep him one further. We'll sidestep him to here. Um, Jinzo will running shot. He's got seven or eight range. Seven range. Okay, Jinzo will just take a shot from where he is. He is an 11 for four. That'll hit an 18. Oh, that will hit. Go to click nine if he has one. He does not, so he dies. Okay. And then Exodia will target... One lightning bolt. Exodia's real downfall. Uh, he will target the gate guardian with his 12 for 5. Ah, a 23. Uh, all right. Uh, you got his invulnerability, but he does have impervious, so we'll see that. Nope. I guess Forest Man will shoot at Mystical Elf. He has a 9 for 3 on click 3. That one will miss. Um, Dark Magician Girl no longer has any valid target, so she's not doing anything. Harpy Lady's not doing anything. Cyber Jar will phase one, two, three to there. And I will. Oh, Red Eyes, I guess, has sidestep. He can sidestep one, two, use his range and line of fire attack to draw a direct diagonal to there. That'll target those two with. Two penetrating damage. A 16, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, that will actually hit a both. For, for two whole damage. And that is everything I can do in okay. one turn. Uh, well, Red Eyes does not have a click nine, so another epic Golden Age brawl has come to a close. Reminder: you can buy, you can vote for the figures on Simeon and I's teams on Discord, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, and the comment section of this video. Um, this was the unofficial series finale because we didn't know where we wanted to end it, and we decided that Roll Twenty is a really lame place to end. Thursday throwdown, especially for all the cool tabletop simulator games we did. So, yeah, Roll we will now be going sucks. back. Yeah, only idiots use Roll20. <laughs> uh, so we will now be going back to uh, tabletop simulator. And we are now going to take Thursday throwdown into the modern age. And I guess we're going to do next week's simulation. Rotation stuff. Yeah, going. So, whoa. Slash. Well, yeah, it's going to be rotated. Depending on when you soon. watch this, it'll be modern. Uh, if you watch this when it comes out, it'll be modern for a few months, and then a few months later, right. magically, it'll be gold, it'll be gold. <laughs> or silver, if you prefer. Um, so I'll be building out of Batman the Animated Series. Got stuff like Clayface, Clayface, technically Clock King, uh, Maxi Zeus, uh, tons of equipment and characters that can use equipment. Um, mm-hmm. And the the super friends. So there's awesome figures like Apache Chief and Aquaman. Right. And those were the only two. Uh, yeah, sure. Those are the only two super friends. Uh, I will be playing out of Earth X. Now, any vote for a character who has a Spider-Man family keyword, but not the Earth X keyword, will instantly be a vote for anybody else with the Earth X keyword. Any vote for the Prime Vulture will instantly be counted as a vote for any other figure I want. Uh, so yeah, go ahead, check out EarthX. 
And yeah, just keep in mind there are figures that I enjoy from that set, like the Captain America res, res, blah, 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 Captain America title character, the uh, Iron Man is really fun, and then the Namor rare is super fun, as well as Montana and the rest of the Enforcers oh, are really yeah. cool. So stay grown. Yeah, just all sorts of good stuff. Actually, yeah, stay grown's cool. The actually, Venom chases are in that set. Yeah, the Black Bolt from Earth X compared to well. The Black Bolt pre-change to Pulse Wave was really cool compared to the uh, ABPI one. But, um, yeah, I guess after the change to Pulse Wave, this one's just kind of trash. Not even going to lie. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, I haven't even looked at him in a while. Also, the Terra Genesis twice is not nearly as cool now that you can't perplex damage. Mm still cool right that is a shame nearly as cool yeah 